Hello! How are you guys? Good? So, guys, welcome to the bread making workshop. Today, finally, <laughs> we are gonna do uh, a bread. We are gonna make a bread. And um, it's actually not a bread. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's just because bread has a very uh, broad um, meaning, right? Because in India, for example, bread can be uh, a pita bread, which is something like a pancake, very thin. And uh, so it has lots of meaning since it's a, a food that it's eaten all over the planet. So what we're gonna do today, it's a loaf, right? A homemade loaf. A loaf is a bread but it has a crust. It's this very uh, traditional kind of breads that probably you've eaten with your grandma. <laughs> and uh, this recipe is not for uh, bakers, right? Baker is a person that uh, makes bread. You buy a bread in the bakery. So this recipe is not for bakers. This recipe is for uh, anyone that wants to bake a bread at home, right? So uh, here's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna use, of course, flour, right? Uh, be sure to have a very good quality flour. This one is wholemeal flour. Wholemeal flour is a flour that is not white, right? This is white flour. So we're gonna have a mixture. So 50% wholemeal, 50% uh, white flour. You can have uh, a bread that is 100% wholemeal or 100% white. We are gonna do today a mixed, with a mixed flours, uh, okay? So we are also gonna use salt, right? And uh, water. And the fourth uh, ingredient is yeast, yeast, right? Yeast is the fungi that is gonna allow our bread to grow. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, this is it. Very simple, four ingredients only. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna need a table, uh, a bowl. Okay, this is a bowl, and a fork, and oh, a measuring cup. Right. So let's do this. <laughs> so first of all, you're gonna have water. This water is warm. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's warmish, right? Which means I put it in the fire just for a little bit, uh, just so you know, okay, but how do I know this is the right temperature? Imagine that you are uh, preparing a baby bath. This is the right temperature. So a baby would have shower in this water. So it's warm, okay? So we're gonna have 650 milliliters of water. So my measuring cup goes into 400. So I'm gonna put 300 plus 350 milliliters of water. So here we go. Okay. This recipe is for two medium loaves. Okay, we're gonna have two medium loaves because I mean the work is kind of the same <laughs> than making only one and this way you can have two for your family or one for yourself one for your neighbor right and then what we're gonna do is oh, let me just take these out good okay and now we are gonna have the yeast the yeast is about 10 grams so if you buy yeast in sachets you can put one sachet in uh, now, I have one that is uh, big and loads of yeast. So what I'm gonna do, let me show you quite kind of closer. What is the yeast? There we go. Nice. <laughs> so our little friends, okay, they're gonna, they're gonna help us to grow our bread today. So um, if you don't have sachet, you're gonna put one spoon, uh, one tablespoon. So the teaspoon is the little one, the tablespoon is the one that you eat soup with, right? So this is the one that you're gonna measure and put inside. Uh, I have a, a measuring kind of cup, measuring spoon, and uh, this one is half a spoon. So I'm gonna have to put two of these. So, and this is the measure for one spoon of yeast. So now you just want to mix it up. 
right? Just mix it up. And luckily you'll find little bubbles already uh, coming from your water with yeast, right? Inside here, now we're gonna go, we're gonna put, so this is a kilo of wholemeal flour. I'm gonna put half of it and then other half I'll put the white flour. So here we go. So as you put in, let me see if I can arrange this myself. Okay, so as you put in, you go mixing, right? So here we go, mixing and put in. Mixing with a fork, okay? As you put, you mix. Here we go, I'm gonna put, just, I don't want to put so much, because this is only half. I think this is about it, okay? Half of the whole meal, mix, mix, mix. Okay, mixing. Okay, We're mixing. Now you can already add your salt, right? So salt, uh, you can put a pinch. Uh, I, I have a struggle with salt, actually. Uh, Every time I put salt, is never enough. <laughs> so you put as you like, right? I'll mix a little bit more. Now I'm gonna put the white flour. So this also goes half of it. And go mixing. Okay, let me show you guys how it's going. Right. So now it's becoming more of a thick dough. A dough is what <clears throat> is the combination of flour, water, yeast. In some breads, you also find people putting uh, sugar in it. And that's to accelerate the fermentation process. We are not gonna do that today because, well, we don't need to. <laughs> we want the simplest kind of recipe so you guys have no excuse not to do this at home so here we go oh, look how beautiful of course this is already exercise <laughs> okay i put a little bit more okay here we go so this wasn't just to make sure, this wasn't a kilo, okay? This was just um, part of the package I have. So I think this is about uh, 500 grams that I just put. Yeah, just so you don't wonder like, oh, you put more than a kilo. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, when you feel like it, which this is the fun part, I have already taken my rings off, right? Because get very sticky with the dough and when you feel like it you can put your hands on and this is the fun part don't worry about the table okay this is gonna happen um, make sure your table is clean because as you need and the action that we are doing right now is kneading we are kneading the dough kneading is spelled um, K N E A D. The spelling is not my strongest, but I know that's right. <laughs> okay, so we are kneading the dough. And as you knead the dough, you're gonna feel that start to get very warm. And this is the fermentation already starting. Uh, you probably, you guys probably watched. Um, the videos and read the content already in our online community, in our workshop. So by now you already know what is fermentation. Now, if you haven't read it, I can explain it again. The second chance for you students. <laughs> um, so fermentation is the action of the fungi that we just put in, which we call yeast, right? So this fungi is actually consuming sugar from the flour 
And that's why we say, so now I'm gonna put it on the table, okay? It's more fun. So here's my dough. I'm gonna put everything that's inside the bowl here. Here you go. So now we just go kneading. And then we can start talking. So you can knead this for about five minutes. What we're doing here is that we want this bread to be eaten by tonight. <laughs> okay, so, so this is it. So the kneading process almost finished, right? Um, <clears throat> so I oh, wish you could smell this. So this is our bread. You can make a kind of a ball out of it. So. Here it is. We're gonna have this guy back in our bowl now to rest, right? And it's gonna double in size. You can leave for an hour, an hour and a half as you like. The more you leave it, the more time the bacteria have to consume the sugar and to produce carbon dioxide and to grow our bread. I'm gonna leave it for an hour, so we'll be back. <laughs> Here. Mm. So our dough has grown and we're gonna knead it again. So I'm gonna remove it. It's good to have some flour in, on your table. So you're gonna remove it from the bowl. So it's been an hour. And look how beautiful it is. What you want by now is to really need it. Enjoy this moment. And the bread cannot be sticking to your hand so much, you know. So it's gonna become this lovely, lovely, very smelly dough and I'm gonna cut it in half so you guys can recreate this environment in your own place so I'm gonna be cutting it in half right and as I mentioned in the beginning this is gonna become two loaves I'm gonna make it like a very rustic bread so as you have it as you have it like in a bowl. If you want to make it rustic, you kind of stretch it to the sides and you put it in your baking pan, just like that, All right? You can make a cut inside it. So when it grows, this is more of static. So when it grows, it's kind of gonna open up. So as you have it here, I'm gonna have a cut just in the middle of it and I'm gonna put some flour on top of it. So when it grows, you're gonna see that this flour is gonna, not gonna bake, but it's gonna just leave the bread embraced by this hot and warm flour. Okay, so you're gonna leave it again for about an hour to an hour and a half and it's gonna grow again. And uh, as it does, our oven is already um, preheating in 200 degrees, okay? Homemade. Oh, the smell is just, it's in the whole house. 
I'm gonna cut it so we can see it in the, how is it like in the insides. So, oof, it's very hot. <laughs> Brunchy, as I mentioned, how I, a loaf should be. lovely bubbles oh it's so steamy you can see the air the hot air coming out of it mm. <laughs> do you listen to this sound it's just <laughs> it's beautiful and yeah this is our bread this is my bread this is your bread I hope you've made it at home. I hope you're happy with it. I hope you have a beautiful, you know, butter to spread on it. And I hope you make it more and more so you can have a lovely, literally a lovely connection with your food. All right. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have, you made lots of lots of bread in your in your life. This is only the first one for many others. And let me know how your bread goes. Okay. See you soon. Let me eat this this delicious thing here. Bye.